Okay, I just wanted to talk about the differences, I guess, between pre-order, in-order, post-order traversals, what's the whole difference? What about DFS? Is that like a different type of traversal or something? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that right now. So DFS as a whole basically is just a traversal on, you know, in this example, a tree. We can, of course, do a DFS on a graph if you want to. Depth first search, depth first traversal, you know, interchangeably. So obviously these will work for both trees and graphs. And there's a certain order that it will, you know, look at the nodes in your graph usually. So uh, typically for, let's say, a DFS that looks like this, right? I'm pretty sure, you know, you might have seen this type of code where we recurse down the left first, prints, and then go down the right. We'll walk through this later just to be very thorough. I'll, I'll go ahead and like do like sort of a walkthrough of this just so everyone's on the same page. Um, but yeah, let me get the brush out. So DFS basically is just an order in which we visit the nodes. I'm going to depth first search DFS down kind of like this. I'll look at four first, go down to two, one, three, six, five, seven. That's the order in which we look at stuff in just a typical DFS. Now, what about pre-order, in-order, you know, post-order, all that stuff, right? The, the difference that these have, you know, the differences these have with a DFS, well, first of all, we should say, these three are actually just types of DFS, or depth first search, depth first traversal, same thing, whatever. So these are all just types of a depth first traversal. Pre-order, in-order, post-order, they all visit the nodes in the same exact order that I just kind of sketched out, you know, the little drawing tool over here. Um, the only difference is when we sort of, quote unquote, access the node itself, right? When we, when we do something with that node. Right here, if you notice by now, we're just printing, that's it. We're just going to log this to the console, that's it. Um, but this could, of course, be something like, I don't know, you're pushing to some sort of array, right? You want to collect all of the values for each node inside of an array, right? We could be doing that. Um, we'll just append to, uh, you know, excuse me, we'll append our value, right? If we had some sort of array that was passed in, we could be doing that. We could be doing, doing anything with these values. But depending on the actual, um, how would you call it? Depending on the actual problem, you'll be doing different stuff and you can do whatever you want with it, but in a certain order. So um, all of that aside, we can actually start to kind of talk about the differences between pre, in, post order traversals. Um, so pre-order, we'll talk about the code first, I guess. Um, we have this pre-order traversal here and we'll just walk through it and see what happens. Um, so if we were pretending that root was none, and even just to be more explicit, we could say um, if root is none, because of course, technically, if um, we have a root that doesn't have a left child, this would technically be null or none. Um, so I'll draw these little ends down here just to denote that. Let's put it in red, actually. So this is basically denoting like there are no children for these nodes. But uh, if we recurse and we end up having a null node passed in over here on line four, um, if that was passed in, then we don't want to do anything. We just want to return. If I don't return from this code, this is going to run and I'm going to essentially be keying in to none. We can't do that. That's going to just going to throw an error, obviously, right? So we want to just get out. We want to stop recursing if this is the case. We want to start popping back up the uh, recursive call stack or down however you want to visualize it but so we have that base case and now very first thing we do for the pre-order excuse me <laughs> i just realized this is all backwards the, this is an in-order traversal this is a pre-order traversal and this is a post order this is still in order because we're doing it in between these different recursive calls but an actual pre-order traversal we access the node first. That's the very first thing that we do. 
<laughs> in, in order, we actually recursed on left first. Sorry, I uh, didn't apparently didn't actually look at what I was doing before I started recording. So, you know, my mistake. But pre-order, print first, do something first. And then after that, we'll start recursing down the left. So I'm gonna, you know, make another function call. It just so happens that it's the same function. That's it. I'm gonna make another function call, passing in my left child, the roots left child, this two right here. So once we pass that in, right, we're gonna go back at the top and start this whole, start a new version of this whole function over again. So we're pretending we're at the two node right now. Let's switch to black. We're pretending we're at the two right now. Um, obviously root is not none, so we're not gonna return. We are gonna execute some code. And so now we're gonna access our node. We print two, right? Then we recurse down the left. I have to recurse first before I move on. So I'm gonna go down the left. Now we're at the one, so on and so forth. We'll actually trace it out in a little bit, but that's basically what's happening with pre-order. I access the node first. I do something with the node first, then I start going, you know, just all around the tree. With in order, I actually start traversing first. I traverse first. Then I go ahead and access my node after I've visited my entire left subtree. I have to visit the whole left subtree first before I do something here on line 16, before I do something with the node that I'm looking at right now. And then post order. We're just doing something afterwards, essentially. I'm doing something after I've recursed down the left and the right. After, you know, look at the whole left subtree, look at the whole right subtree first before I access. So we can actually trace out sort of a pre-order traversal now, um, kind of like I was already doing. Um, by the way, I'll, I'll just draw like a dot if I'm a, let's make it great. Well, I'll keep it black. I'm just gonna draw a dot um, right here just to, just to say like, hey, I'm looking at this node right now. And I'll draw a circle if we're actually like accessing this node, like I've, I'm printing it essentially, right? So just to draw it out, we'll ignore the code for a second, just to visualize it, right? Um, I look here at four first, pre-order. I'm looking here at four, and then since we're doing pre-order, I access the node first, right? So I'll draw a little circle just to say, hey, I'm accessing this node. I'm printing, I'm doing something with it. Now we look at the left, right? Now we're gonna go down the left, but we have to do left first before we start going down the right. So I'll look here, right? Now I'm gonna access it. First thing I do once I get there. Again, once I get to that node, do something with it. Same thing here, I recurse down the left. Now I access. Now here's where something interesting happens, right? This is just how DFS works. Um, we pass in a null node to the function a none node, if you want to call it that. So when we do that, we don't do anything. We just return. So we're going to return basically immediately. We're done. Just forget everything. Now I'm back up here at the one. And I'm like, okay, cool. I've looked at the left. Now I want to go to the right. So I look at the right, none. Okay, cool. I'll just return. That's it. And so now finally, we're done with this node right here. At this point, I've printed went down the left subtree, it just so happened there was nothing. Look at the right subtree, it just so happened there was nothing, right? Now that we're done, we return. You can imagine a return statement right here, right? Implicit, but you know, we do return. So once we return, we're back up here at the two, right? Because if you remember, two is the one that asked, hey, let's go down the left, please. <laughs> so. We're back at two. So now we've gone down the left. Now I have to go to the right. So I'm looking at three now. I look at three. Then I actually access it because that's the first thing we do. Then go down the left and the right. Same situation happens where we do nothing, right? Null nodes. So then we implicitly, excuse me, implicitly return. Then we're done with this three. So we'll go back up, right? And so three says to two, hey, I'm done, 
right? Like you asked me to traverse down the right, um, and now I'm here, but you know, I'm done, I've returned. Cool, so now the two returns because we're done looking at the left and the right, right? So we're done there. Now, if you remember way at the beginning, right? Four needed to traverse down the left, but we're done with that. I visited everything over here. This whole subtree is done. We're done with it, obviously, right? Now we'll go down the right. Same thing happens, right? And that's what we just continue onwards, just like that. Access first, or excuse me, look at it first, but then we access immediately afterwards, right? Then we have to go down the left. And now we're just tracing out how a DFS works, right? Just like this. Look at it, then access, Im access immediately. And so, you know, we'd be done with these nodes, then this one, and then finally, my four node has completed both of its pre-order traversal calls. Now we're done, right? Now we're done. And so if you looked at the actual order of like where we visited stuff, right? Let me whip out a different color. Um, when here first, second, third, fourth, uh, this one was visited fifth, sixth, and seventh, right? And so if we actually print this out, hopefully, right? Uh, we'll actually have our, uh, yes. Actually, excuse me. Ah, I made the tree, uh, er, sorry, my bad. I want the pre, I want the pre. I have the wrong thing uh, commented in. So pre-order traversal, here's the actual ordering. Sorry about that. We have four, two, one. So if we watch, right? Four, two, this value, one. We visit here third, four, two, one, three, six, five, seven. The code matches up. So this is good, right? Let me back that up a little bit. And so just to recap, right? I visit the node and then access it basically at the same time. So pre-order traversal basically kind of draws out how a normal DFS would just look, period, right? So um, <clears throat> we'll move on to in order now. So let's talk about that. Um, let me actually <laughs> comment in the correct one now. So um, let me back this up a little bit more. For the in order traversal, like I said earlier, we, we end up... Um, Recursing first down the left. Let's look at it. We have this in order right here. Right? I recurse first, then I access, and then I go down my right subtree. Right? And let's actually be explicit here. Uh, if root is none. So we'll start, we'll, we'll start at the top again. <clears throat> I look at my root four, right? I look here, and then I don't access, I don't access yet. I go down the left. I want to recurse to root.left. Okay, we'll do that. So now I'm over here. Cool, so now there's another function call that just so happens to be the same exact function. And then I'm gonna go down the left. Again, I've, I'm not gonna access two yet. I'll go down the left. Now I'm here. Here's kind of the interesting part, sort of. <laughs> I want to go down the left again, right? I'm not going to access this thing yet. I'm going to recurse down the left. So I do. It just so happens that root.left is none, though. So I'm looking here at none. Then I return immediately because we hit line 13. And we see that root is none. That's why we have it here. <clears throat> so once we do that, we'll pop back up to one. And we're saying, hey, I just completed your in-order traversal on line 15. Now we can move on to line 16. So line 16 is our print statement. It's one. So now, now I'm accessing the node finally, right? One over here. So I'm accessing it now. Now, um, next thing to do is traverse down the right. In order traversal, root.right. So I'll look here. Notice that it's none, right, on line 13. The code notices that the thing that was passed in is actually none, right? So once we do that, uh, we return immediately. Then we go back up to one. 
one realizes, ah, okay, we've, we've finished going down the right, so I can just kind of exit out, basically. Implicit return, we're out of here. So I finished, right? And I've accessed. I've accessed my node, my node and I've printed out one a second ago. I, you know, so I, I'm, I'm just drawing this now, so that was a kind of a delay, but we did print that thing before looking at the right. Now, now that we've finished this function call, we have to go back to two, because remember, two was calling, you know, this function with root dot left. And so now I finished the left. Now I can move on to line 16 and then do my print, right? Now that I do the print, I will actually print two right here, just like this. So I've accessed it now, accessed. Then I go down the right, go to three, we'll look at it. I don't want to access it just yet, I have to wait. I have to wait to look at the left. Look here, return immediately. Okay, cool. I've gone down the left, now I can access. I access three. Then go down the right, look at this none, return up immediately, and now I'm done. Implicit return. Over here, right? We trun. Yeah, this return right here. Implicit. So now I've finished this function, and then I pop back up. Oh, excuse me. I think I forgot to uh, <laughs> add our little printout here. I'm going to forget that constantly, probably. But yes, we did access three. We access three. Now we're going to pop back up to two, essentially. We're done here. Now I go to two. And remember, two went down the right. So I'm actually done here as well. I return immediately after this function call is done. So return from here. Now the four, if you remember, way back when, <laughs> um, way back when I asked to go down the left from four and I finally done it. Remember this whole subtree, we're done with it. We're done. Now I can finally access my node, right? This node will be accessed right here. And so if you're starting to notice, obviously, if you pick up the pattern, one, two, three, four, right? Hint, hint, it's called in order, right? One, two, three, four. Now, you know, that I've accessed it, I can actually go down the right-hand side. So I've printed, that's my four over here, oh, excuse me, that's my four over here, and now I go down the right. So, look at the thing, but I don't actually want to do anything with it yet. I want to go down the right, excuse me, left, I want to go down the left, and so I'll look over here. That was a pretty important step right there, right? I didn't access six yet. I didn't access six yet. I want to go to five first. And then go to the left null over here, technically, pop back up, and then I can access five. So now we're over here, we've accessed it, cool. And I'll remember to uh, draw it out over here. And then we're done. After I look at the right, over here, you know, then I'm good. Can return back up to the six, access it, finally. Then I go down my right. Look at it. Don't access it just yet. Look at the left. Realize it's null. Pop back up. Now I can access it. Seven. And so you start to see the, the pattern that kind of happens. Technically, I, technically I look down the right, right here, because of line 17, again. I would look down the right here, but then I would finally return up from that and then return from seven, because there's nothing more to do. Then I'm at the six, right? Because six wanted me to go down the right-hand side, but I'm done with that. Now, four asked me to go down the right side, and I already did, I'm done going down the right-hand side. So, now I'm done with this. And this is the whole printout. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It, this is very important. It just so happens that this is a binary search tree. This, there's like an ordering to this tree, right? It just so happens that we got the printout one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in sorted order. That's a very important distinction to make, right? Because you can do an in order traversal on a uh, like unsorted tree, so to speak, um, just a normal binary tree with numbers kind of randomly thrown about, you know, throughout the tree. You can still do an in order traversal. It visits the nodes in the same exact way 
here I'll actually draw it out. Um, let's just say one, two, seven, why not? Three, uh, nine, four, I'm too lazy to draw the other one. So uh, if we did an in order, right? Let's draw it out. Look here, don't access. Look here, don't access yet. Look here, don't access yet. Look at the none, come back up. Then I access seven, right? Look at the right, it's none, so I'll scratch it out. Um, now I can access the two, since I've just uh, you know gone down the left, two, right? And so this order actually looks something like this. Is it in sorted order? Obviously not, right? It's obviously not in sorted order, the printout at least. But this is still this is still an in order traversal. It just so you know the naming is a little bit weird. It just so happens that like if you do this on a binary search tree, you will get an in order printout. So that's cool. That's just a you know important distinction to make between binary search trees and actual binary trees, or just you know any binary tree. Excuse me. So that's in order. Um, important distinction that I wanted to make. Um, post order, you can probably figure it out by now. Also before I. Uh, keep going. Let's actually run this um, code like you saw earlier. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my printout right here in order. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can already guess what the uh, post order is kind of going to look like, sort of, because I've gone, you know, the, the order... Uh, the order that I look at stuff for pre-order was... Um, node left right or like this node left right in order was actually left node right left node right and now i'm doing left right node so obviously the printout is going to be a little bit different so let's actually back this all the way up hopefully i can back up that far um that's as far as it'll let me go that kind of stinks I'd almost rather uh, draw another tree. Yeah, let's draw another one. I'll draw this on the... Uh... Ah, I can't control Y anymore. That sucks. All right, I'm going to draw a new tree. So we're just going to draw a random tree, not a binary search tree, just kind of a random one. Um, and because I'm lazy, we'll stop it right there. Um, post order. I look at my node. Don't access yet. Recurse down the left, right? Very first thing we do. So now I'll look at the two. Recurse down the left, first thing I do. So now I'm at the four. Recurse down the left, yet again. Now I'm looking at the invisible null over here. And I'll actually draw this out for the rest of them before I forget. Uh, null, null. So yeah, four, I look down the left first. Then I look down the right. Still null, whatever. Now I'll print. So now I'm accessing my node right here. All right. Now that I've done this, right, I can pop back up to the two. We're done here. I go to the two, go back there. Code execution goes back here. So now that I'm at the two, I will go down the right because I just went down the left. So I'll go down the right, okay? So now I'm here at the five. Don't print yet, I gotta look left first. So I look left, it's none, whatever. Look right, it's none, whatever. Now I'll print, print five, okay. Now we've done that. That's the final thing to do in the function is print. So now we're done with it, implicit return. Now code execution pops back up to the two. Now I can finally access it. Now I'm printing two. If you kept that order in your head, right? It was left, right, node. 452, right? I looked left, printed, looked right, printed. Now I'm at the back here at the original node, you know, I print. But the same is true for every single node, right? So I gotta keep going. So I, now that I printed, I can continue. And I can look back at the one. Now, I just went down the left of one. I completed the left of one, right? Now, next thing I have to do, to go all the way down the right all the way, 
which I'm glad, you know, I didn't draw a massive tree down here, right? So now that I'm looking down the right, I look at the seven and I say, hey, can't do anything yet. Look to the left. No, don't care. Right. No, don't care. Now I can access. Post order, post order, print. Now I'll print, right? This is my next uh, printout, right? Not the one yet. I, 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 I'm looking here at the seven first because that's the right-hand side. Again, it's left, right node for every single node. Have to look at the left, then look at the right, then you can finally hit your node for every node, right? So it's a little bit tricky. But now finally, now that I'm done with the seven, printed it out, returned, now I'm back at the one. Now that I'm here, I can finally, you know, have some closure. <laughs> so now I have the one I've accessed and then I can get out of here. I'm done doing everything. This whole tree has been traversed through. Um, I don't know why I have my headphones on, honestly. Um, <laughs> so that's what each of those will look like, right? In here, we can even do it on a, can print this out right here. This was based on the original, like, uh, yeah, this tree right here. So if you look left, right, node, that's the left of four. So now I have to go to the right. Then I'll have left, right, node for six, five, seven, six. Then I have the four, right? Because this was the right of four. So I finished left, right, and now I can look at the node, four. So that, that's why this, this prints out in the way that it does, right? And that's it. Um, I say that's it, and like the video is like 30 minutes long, but like, <laughs> but like this is how it goes. Like these, this is the, the differences between pre-order, in-order, post-order, whatever. There's subtle differences. It's just where you do your stuff, where you access um, your nodes. And that's it, yeah. So to like wrap up just one more time, right? DFS, you know, all of these are depth first traversals or a depth first search if you're searching for something, right? This is all DFS, right? But we have different ways of accessing our nodes, different types of DFS, right? Just depends on where you do your stuff. And I mean, you could have like complicated logic going on here, right? You could just have whatever you want going on, like instead of just printing, right? You can do whatever you want. And then same for in order. If you're gonna have a bunch of logic in here because you just needed to do stuff in order, right? Whatever you want, yeah. Any logic you want. As long as you're making your recursive call left first and then right second, after you've done your stuff, that's an in order traversal, right? Same for post order, just do it at the end. Yeah, that's that's the differences and stuff like that of these different traversals, blah, blah, blah. Um, Yes, thank you.